So what I'd like to go over now is the uh, remote charging kit from Carve Power, and this allows you to charge your one wheel on the go. Um, so what you get with it is this MPPT solar charge controller. Um, on its own, you can buy it for about fifty dollars. Uh, but the cool thing when you buy it from Carve Power is he 3D prints and connects these connectors on the the ends here, which make it you know very convenient and easy to connect batteries to. Um, and you're gonna see that in a second here. I'm gonna show that to you. But he basically has this 3D printed um, portion that he puts, he connects onto it for you, so you don't have to go in there, you know, put in your own connectors and everything. He'll do that for you. And um, I'll show you how this all kind of fits together in a second. But just keep that in mind. That's part of what you're getting when you pay for this at Carve Power. So it's 50 bucks, but then he has this extra piece in here. It makes it really convenient and easy. You could do it yourself. I don't know how much more it'll cost you. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the conveniences that come with buying this kit from Carve Power. And then he also has his own custom cable, right? So this one particularly is for the one wheel. Um, it's an XLR jack. It just connects, boom, right into the one wheel. And this end connects right here into the part that has the picture of the battery. So it's basically going to the battery. That's the one wheel battery, boom. So you plug it right in there, boom. It's in the slot. Okay, uh, I think it's an XT connector, right? I think that's what it's called. Um, now, so the batteries that I bought are the ones that he, when you go to carvepower.com, he basically um, tells you, you know, he, he gives you a link to an eBay vendor that you can buy these batteries from. They're about $34 a pack. Um, these particular ones are Samsung 36 volt, 4.4 amp hours. And it's enough to give you one full charge on your uh, your one wheel. Um, so you know, there actually you can buy the Samsung version or the Panasonic version. I think most of the people in the e-skate industry prefer the Samsung batteries. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with the Panasonic ones, but these are the ones that people seem to prefer. It's not just for the one wheel people. People get these to uh, extend you know the uh, the range of their electric skateboards as well. So, you know, I bought a few of these. They're $34 a piece and you get one charge from each of them. Um, we're going to weigh them in a second. I don't have a good weight measuring tool, but hopefully we can figure out the weight. Um, they're advertised as about two pounds per battery. So that's one charge for two pounds, every two pounds. Okay, now what you also get is you get this uh, 3D printed carve power case. And let me see what an open one here. Yeah, so this is what So what this is designed to do is basically is to hold your battery and make it convenient for you to connect it to the solar charger, this thing here. And I'll explain actually what this does. I don't think I fully explained what this does. Um, it'll basically up the voltage and the amperage to charge your one wheel from 36 volt up to like 56 or something like that. But I'll show that in a second. But yeah, so he, he 3D prints these cases for the batteries. And you know, you basically take it, you drop your battery in, just like this. Um, and he also gives you padding that you put on the sides. I'll explain that a little bit here, to kind of protect the battery. And then you go ahead and you know um, screw this in. Uh, didn't have this complete setup. But yeah, you take it and you basically screw this portion in here. And then once you have that, you have you know you have this box here, and then it has a connector, um, a thing to seat the connector, and when you're not using it, so you put it right in there, and it'll just sit in there when you know, you're not using it if you want to do that. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about this box in a second. Why I I don't particularly uh, use this box, even though I bought a bunch of them, and I'll explain why in a second here. But yeah, so that's what it comes with. Um, if you're going to use it, it's the one. The big benefit of it is it, it can protect your battery because you can put padding in it. Um, so he buys, or uh, sorry. Uh, so when I, you get the package from Carve Power, he also gives you these. Uh, let me see if I can find one. So he gives you the, these pads here, and they're just basically it's sticky on one side. There's an adhesive, and the other side just straight padding. Um, now, in, inside of these packages is the, when you get it, it comes with an Allen wrench as well, or Allen wrench, I don't know so, but, and you can, and that's just to put the cover, it comes with the screws and everything, and you can put the cover 
on these um, these battery cases. So you, you can screw them all in. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay. Um, and now I advise if you're gonna use the case, um, this actually gives you enough to put padding on all sides of the case, the top, the bottom, the back, the front, and the, the left, and then on the sides as well. Um, I, I, so I, I advise cutting them into strips. And just be you know economical and just be smart about it and you can actually protect the battery on all sides. Uh, you'll get two pads in here and you should cut them up and um, you know, just be smart about it. But it's, you can do it, that's, that's what I've done with one of mine. Okay, so on to the next thing. Um, let's, let's actually see how this thing works here. So, so you take basically, I'm going to do this without the case because I want to show you how this works um, and I don't have it set up. I, like I said, I don't really use the case, but if you're going to use the case, basically you drop it in and the cable sticks out and that cable is what you're going to stick into the, the uh, solar connector. So let's take a battery here, for instance. So you take the battery, you plug it into it looks like a solar panel. Let me look at that, or like a Microsoft Windows. <laughs> but it's like a solar panel icon, and that's where you plug the battery into. So we're gonna do that, and if, as soon as you do that, you can see it turns on. Uh, oops, I got it backwards. So we'll plug it in. Okay, there you go, Dude, it turns on. Now, it says, uh, let me get this closer here. It says off on the screen on the right side. If I hit okay, It'll turn it on. I hit OK. It turns it off. Now, and then you are not. You, and it doesn't matter the order. You can actually have this cable connected in advance. But here's the the cable to the one wheel, or it could be your cable to your boosted board or whatever. But this is the uh, you would plug this into the battery side here, and then that's what you plug into your device to start charging it. Okay. Um, now. What this this box does is it takes this 36 volt battery and it ups it to 58 uh, volts at, at 3.5 amps. That's what that's what it's gonna put out. Um, that's what it's gonna put out, you know, to, in towards your uh, your device, whether it be a boosted board or whatever. And you can adjust those just by hitting up or down on the buttons. Actually, that's either. Okay, you can you can adjust them using the buttons here. I don't want to adjust it because I don't remember the exact. So 58 volt, 0.5 volts out, 3.5 amps out, and that's what um, you need on the uh, for the one wheel to charge. So if you have a boosted board or something similar to that, um, you just have to set this to whatever it needs to charge, and then you can go ahead and start charging that device. Now I will say this only does an up conversion. It doesn't do a down conversion. So what that means is you can't use it to charge like your cell phone or something of lower voltage. Um, than the battery at least. I, so this 36 volts it has to be something you know 30 higher than 36 volts basically. Um, so okay, so that's that. So that's this is what the solar charger does or the solar controller does. And so now we have the. So the reason I'm gonna explain why I don't use the case. Okay, um, it's not. There's a few downsides to it for me. Um, and here, I'll explain why I don't use it. So I'm gonna unplug this here, it's gonna turn it off. Okay, push it off there. Okay, so one problem that I, I found with the case is that the first thing is this battery that I got has a pretty short cable. So when I put it in the case and I go here, right? And I, I, put, I put the cover on it's just gonna dangle out here, and well, actually, this one seems to be working. This bad, this cable is longer. I think we're okay here. So this is one of my. Let me get my other battery then. Uh, no, it doesn't actually. Let me see. So put it here. Comes across. Yeah, and you can fit it. So that one's cool. That one's pretty long, but I have another battery that I got that has a shorter cable. Yeah, here it is. And I'm gonna show you the difference in the, the cable length. So I, I just received them both, um, you know, and here's the difference in length. So that, that for one, that's a problem for me because I can't really, there it is, boom. There's a cable length difference. 
And what that causes for me, a problem for me, is I'll get the shorter one here. And so if you have a battery, whether you bought this battery or another battery, there's a possibility that the cable just might not be long enough to seat inside of this, this resting spot here, this holder. If you look here, I can't reach all the way in. It doesn't, it doesn't reach. It's just not long enough. Okay, so that's one reason why I don't use it. The other reason is oh, I bought a bunch of them, so I'm going to stack them here. I'm going to show you how tall they are. So let's just say for two batteries, okay? These things are light. Um, they're, they're light. I mean, even three of them together might not even, you know, probably doesn't even weigh a pound, right? Um, even four of them together doesn't really weigh a pound, right? And they're 10 bucks a piece, by the way. I bought them for $10. Um, it, co it comes with one, and I paid uh, 30 more for, you know, to get uh, three more. But, so, yeah, they don't even weigh a pound. Maybe half a pound for four cases. Maybe a pound, yeah, maybe a pound for four cases. But I'm gonna show you why, the, another reason why I don't use them is they're light, but they're bulky. They, they take up space. So if you look at here, if I take two batteries and I just stack them on top of each other, those two cases are already taller, right? Let me uh, let's see if I can show you the, the size difference here. So if you look here, those two cases together are already bulky. Like They're longer, for one. So if you're wearing a backpack or something, it's just going to take up more space. And they're very square. And then now, you start getting the three, three cases. Um, let me stack another battery here. It's a little bit of a different shape. This one's not as tall, but you start to see the point here. Um, it's basically three batteries. Actually, these three batteries right here are the equivalent of two cases. And that's part of the reason why I don't use them. So I just put the um, battery in my uh, backpack and I carry it that way. one of the reasons why I don't use, them, use the case. Um, that's a big reason. Um, the other thing is actually because of that short cable, the way that these cases are designed, and let me just show you actually, let me take the, the battery with a shorter cable on it. That's where a lot of my problems came from, is this one that came with a shorter cable. Um, I'm going to drop it in the case here. Now I'm not trying to make this whole video all Now I'm not trying to make this video all about why I don't use the case, but um, I'm just trying to show you, the, you know, some of the problems that I ran into here, and why you, you might consider it. You know, if you're buying extra cases or whatever, why you might could be consider it. Um, so the way it works is, you basically you have your battery in the case, you charge it, and it just this slides right in. Uh, actually, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, right. So this is supposed to slide. You slide it in. Oh, it's just I don't have this uh, cover on correctly. But it slides right in like this, and it's, it makes it convenient. It's all together one piece, right? And then if you want to, you know, change it wherever you slide it off, you can just put another piece of battery case on. But the problem is because this cable was so short, I could barely put it in to this slot here. It's it's a pain, you know. Versus if it's just out. I'm not sure right here. If it's just so if it's just out, and the reason why that's hard is because the case wasn't screwed on. It's a lot easier than what it looks in the camera there. But it's just out, I can just plug it in like that, you know. I, I have enough um, length here, enough slack to go ahead and plug it in. Um, so that's, that's the reason why I don't use it. It's just more for space because it's bulky and sometimes the cables are just short and they don't fit well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to weigh these things. That's, that's kind of why I brought the scale out here. And something heavy. So this scale is for weighing humans. Um, it's not going to register. Sorry, let me get it. It's not going to register. You know, really light things like this. Like I put this. These aren't even a pound, so it doesn't even register. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and put this um, fire extinguisher on there. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing is light too. Uh, I'll put some batteries on that. Oops. I'm using a balancer on my uh, camera stand. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do here is so we got that 8.2 pounds. Okay, fine. So take it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to so it's 8.2 pounds. I'm gonna add this in here. I'm gonna drop the batteries on. That's two batteries. And this thing imaging, it's 10.2 pounds. Uh, that's for two batteries, really. 8.2, 10.2. Uh, that's probably right because it's no, it's supposed to be two pounds per battery. As you can see, the scale is not very accurate. I need a better scale. So the adver advertised weight for these batteries, I think, is two, two pounds each. Yeah, there's always go 10. 10.2, now let's go add two next time. So that's 10.2 right now. Let's get it back down, drop the 8.2, plus this two, there we go, 12.4. So they are two pounds each. You can uh, see here, 12.4. All right, for that, and then if I take this and just put the fire extinguisher on there, that's 8.2. 8.2, oops, eight there we go. Okay, so it's two pounds per battery, and this thing on this is the uh, solar charge controller itself is lighter than the battery, so it's not even. It's it's really light this setup. Um, you know, if you you don't have to bring your your um, your own charger, which is supposed it's advertised I think as two pounds. I'm not sure that that's true though, but your your charger for your one wheel or whatever. Oh, you don't have to bring that, so you just bring. You know this and this DC to DC is just plugged straight straight into your device. So you don't need your um, actual boosted board or your um, one wheel charger. Uh, so what else is there? I think that might be it. Oh, let me show you how you charge these batteries. It's the last thing here. Is when you buy the kit from Carve Power, what they send you is basically an ammo box. And the reason why they do this is, you know. Um, these, these batteries that we're buying from eBay are basically hoverboard batteries, which you know have been known to ignite, you know, into flames. Um, I don't know how often that happens, but so that's why he gives you to. So he basically advises you put your, you know, this this charger in here um, it has a light on it. It's red when it's charging your battery, um, and then it turns green when your battery is fully charged. And it just basically has another XT connector and you, you just connect it to the battery. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it right now just to show you what it kind of looks like. So you put that in there and then you connect the battery. Okay. Connect the battery and then you just drop the battery in. That's it. And then you close it and then you let it charge and then the light will turn green eventually. And what he's done here is he put a hole with a grommet here. Uh, on the side here, and that's where you can put the power cable through and plug that into your wall. So if this thing catches on fire or whatever, supposedly this ammo case will actually help contain that, that fire. And that's why he does that. Um, it sounds scary, but I don't know. I mean, it's good precaution, I guess. Um, although I have a bunch of battery de type devices around my house that I plug in and, you know, I don't use it. But um, I don't know. I use it because he sent it with it, so I use it. And that's pretty much it. So that's what that's what you get. Um, you carry this with you, and don't forget it's one charge per per pack. Um, and it actually the charge time is excellent. It's the same as um, because it's at fifty. What is it? Fifty eight point five volts or whatever at three point five amps. It charges. Um, you know your one wheel in the same amount of time as the wall charger, the actual ultra charger that comes with it. Um, and you know I'm kind of curious actually with like boosted boards. Um, you could probably up the amperage and the voltage and charge your boards, the booster boards a little quicker, I think. But I'm not sure. It would be nice to find that out. So if any of you use this for a boosted board type setup, um, that would be good to know, actually. I'm kind of curious. Anyways, uh, hopefully this video was informative. Uh, and go ahead and leave a message. And uh, Oh, by the way, in the description of this uh, video, I'll go ahead and put the link to where you can purchase these batteries, or the ones that I purchased at least. And I'll leave a link to the Carve Power site where you can purchase the kit and you know everything that I pretty much have here besides the batteries. Um, okay, so yeah, leave a comment.